understands the importance of bringing up the Justice Department. Every one of those cases. You want to talk about this is what people wanted? Pregnant women who wanted. Yeah, it's a lie. I'm not signing a ban. They had the highest inflation, perhaps, in the history. Yeah, I think they both held their own. I thought uh, Vice President Harris did very good. I thought uh, President Trump came across as very angry, didn't have a vision, didn't answer questions very well, thought he was easily rattled. And I think that uh, Harris has a positive uh, vision of the future, so I support President Harris. I think that Kamala definitely benefited from the coaching that she's received over the last few weeks. And I think that Trump came across as being more genuine because he actually believes and at least he is consistent in his opinions over the course of time. She did a decent job, but considering that she could have really eviscerated Trump, uh, I was disappointed. And I was also uh, unpleasantly surprised that Trump uh, was mostly coherent. I think on balance, she won the debate, but not enough. I think it went well. I think Trump made really good points. He was articulate in his discipline. And he, he drove home the main point about the economy, which is what Americans want to hear. The economy is being managed very poorly under the Biden-Harris administration. I came, it came down to who used misinformation and used, who used statistics to back up what they believed in. And I think at the end of the day, it was the Democratic Party. It was Kamala Harris, who, what she stood for, she used statistics, she used facts to back it up. And that's something that I appreciate and something that I find value in a candidate. The towns, they're taking over buildings, they're going in violently.